Hi all, welcome to session 75 of Software Testing Made Easy course. In this session, I'm going to explain about integration testing. So let's get started. There are mainly four levels of software testing. That is unit testing, integration testing, system testing, and acceptance testing. Integration testing is one of the levels of software testing. Now let me explain this integration testing in detail for you. So what is integration testing? In integration testing, the individual units of the software, okay? In integration testing, the individual units of the software are integrated logically. In a logical way, we'll integrate these units and we'll perform testing as a group. That is known as integration testing. Now, let me explain this line in a diagrammatical way. Let's say this is the entire software code and you can break this entire software code into smallest testable parts. We cannot break further guys, such kind of smallest testable parts, you are breaking the entire software code into. Here, the smallest testable parts are known as units, okay? Here, the smallest testable parts of this entire software code are known as units. These are smallest testable parts. And if you are performing testing on these units, that is smallest testable parts individually, separately, then that is known as unit testing, guys. I explained about unit testing in the previous session, right? Where I have explained that if you are testing the smallest testable parts separately, okay, separately if you are testing, that is called as unit testing. But in integration testing, you are going to integrate the several units by connecting them logically, okay? Here, the different units are logically connected and tested together, guys. Here, you are testing after integrating few units in a logical way. As a group, if you are testing, that kind of testing is known as integration testing, fine? This is known as integration testing, guys. Generally, this integration testing is performed by developers. Developers are the ones who will be performing this integration testing. And this integration testing falls into white box testing category, okay? This integration testing falls into white box testing category where your individual units, okay? We can see the code of this units, right? That's why this integration testing falls into the white box testing category. Whatever you are testing, you are able to see the code, guys. See the code of the units of which are grouped together as part of this integration testing, right? All this code of these individual units are visible here as part of this integration testing. Hence, this testing falls into the white box testing category. Now, let me explain few approaches, okay? In order to perform this integration testing, there are different approaches, guys. There are several approaches. That is, first approach is Big Bang. Big Bang approach. There are several approaches in performing the integration testing by the developers. One of the approach is Big Bang approach. The next approach we have is top-down approach. Top-down approach. Then we have bottom-up. Bottom-up approach. There are four approaches, guys, okay? There are several approaches, that is four approaches in performing the integration testing. Those four approaches are First one is Big Bang approach, second one is top down, third one is bottom up, and last one is sandwich. Sandwich approach of performing integration testing. I'll be explaining these approaches in detail, in detailed manner for you in the upcoming sessions, okay? For now, I am not going to cover this uh, approaches in this session, but in the upcoming sessions, I'm going to explain each and every of this approach for performing integration testing in detail for you. So hope guys, you understood what exactly is integration testing. So that's it guys. Thank you. Bye.